Good morning, everyone. So I wanted to post a video about a personal experience that I had regarding the pandemic and family. I had one of my grandmothers actually block me on Facebook due to a post that I made about the flu shot. She had stated that she is going to get the flu vaccine because she's tired of wearing the masks. And I posted on her page and I said, Grandma, you know that you're still going to have to wear the mask even if you get the shot, right? I mean, it's posted everywhere that you will still have to wear the mask. Well, she didn't really like that very much. And I think the part that she didn't like was the fact that, unfortunately for her, I was a little bit more educated in the matter. I had done my research. And I know for a fact that we will still have to wear masks. And if you've done your research, you will know that as well. So no, you don't get to just take the mask off after you get the vaccine. Well, she didn't like that, so she blocked me. I didn't have her cell phone number on my new on this new phone. So I wrote her a letter. I wrote her a letter the old fashioned way and I stamped it and I sent it. And it consisted of, you know, grandma, what are you doing? We're family. What happened to communication and talking? What happened to you coming to me and saying, you know what, granddaughter, I didn't like that very much. I didn't like that you said that on a public post. You know, granted, maybe I could have gone to her personally, but the thing is, is she's posting something that isn't fact. And I feel that it's necessary to get more fact out there. You don't need to be offended by it. There is no reason for you to be offended by my factual post. I didn't say anything mean. I just posted the facts. And there is no reason to be offended by that. And that's what's wrong with society nowadays, is every little thing that you don't fully agree with is going to be offensive to you and there's no reason for that especially with your family you and I told her in my letter you do not block your family members because of something you disagree with you don't do that and I said and that hurt me grandma that hurt me and I still love you very much and I hope that one day you unblock me I said here is my home phone number here is my cell phone number call me let's talk about this and that was about a week and a half to two weeks ago and I haven't heard anything yet and I'm a tough big girl I'll be all right but I cannot believe that my grandmother who I've known my entire life. Is that, that looks like my cat. Known my entire life would do that to me. Somebody who sent me Christmas gifts and birthday gifts the majority of my life blocked me. So I wrote her a letter. Yes, I did. The old fashioned way. Sure is Chinook. I did. And I hope that anyone who's having issues like this are doing the same thing. Don't get butthurt about it. I mean, it's going to upset you. But don't get butthurt to where you're going to hold a grudge and sever that. Don't do that with your family. Love your family. Love your friends. Understand that people are going to be different and have different opinions. And that is okay. You do not have to agree with everything, with everyone, all the time. There is going to be differences and you guys have to be okay with it. And I'm gonna be blunt, you have to get over it. You do. Because the way that the world is turning now and the way that people are turning on each other, we cannot have that. We can't. We need to love each other and fight for each other and agree to disagree. So I just, I wanted to put my two cents out there because you need to pick up that pen and that paper and that envelope and that stamp and you need to get to it and you need to write these people and tell them 
no, this isn't okay. You don't do this. You don't. You love each other. You understand each other. And you protect each other. And you have each other's backs. But this social media is getting getting out of hand. And Karen and I have, have been off of it. We'll get on every once in a while. We'll get on it. You know, check on our family. I downloaded this app called Marco Polo, which I don't do apps. I don't do social media apps. And I downloaded it to get closer to my future mother-in-law, whom I absolutely love and adore. Um, she, she is incredible. She's been there for me, and I know that she's going to be there for me in the future. I know our bond is going to be stronger than, than ever. And I am so blessed to have that. But as for Facebook, it's toxic. And Karen and I are staying away from it. We really are trying to stay away from it. I do a lot of online research through Facebook. I follow a lot of homesteading apps and farm apps and animal apps. And they're very, very informational. Very, very helpful. And um, that's pretty much the, the use of Facebook for me and family. But when that grandmother of mine blocked me, you know... I haven't posted anything political since, let me tell you. I just think that it's rubbing people the wrong way. Um, you're either going to listen to it or you're not. And if I'm just going to start taking people off all the time, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't care to do that. I'm trying to give you guys, you know, information of stuff that I've studied, stuff that's backed up. I'm not posting just stuff from the air. You know, I've, I've done my research. I've, I've looked at both sides of the political parties and, and gathered information and posted the facts know and if you want to be offended by it I'm sorry that's that's your deal but you don't you don't block somebody that you love because you didn't like what you read you don't so anyways um, that's just my two cents and I hope that everybody's having a very happy Christmas month and happy Christmas Eve's Eve Christmas is in a couple days I'm so excited so is Karen